Hey, blessed morning, grateful gal. I hope everybody had a blessed week. Um, it was filled with much joy, excitement, success, um, all those great things. Um, this morning I'm diving. I be diving directly into the daily verse. Um, daily verse for the date of August thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two, derived from the book of Proverbs, chapter eleven, verse twenty-five, and it states as follows: The liberal soul shall be made fat. And he that watereth, watereth shall be watered also him. Also himself, yeah. And again, it's from the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 25. And um, so this morning, I just be speaking about, um, you know, the NFL season here is back. A couple of preseason games that happened already. Um, last night was the Eagles' first preseason game. Um, it was, I was very pleased from, from the things I saw. You know, obviously the score we didn't win, we lost by a field goal, but it's preseason, I really don't care about that. Um Yeah, the first unit offense looked great. You know, uh, even with the missing pieces we have, we didn't have Devontae Smith, we didn't have Jason Kelsey, um, and one of our other starting tackles we didn't have him as well. Um a guard, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um but other than that, I, I again I didn't I wasn't able to see the full first um series from our offense, but Jalen Hurts went, he threw for a hundred percent. Um, you know, a few of the passes were underneath. He did hit Quiz Watkins on a, on a, uh, on an end route coming across the field on the sideline. He hit him on that. He hit Dallas Goddard. Um, he hit Dallas Goddard after, after they caught the, the, the penalty back for his, for Jalen Hurts run, run touchdown. On a holding call on Jordan Malata, they pulled that back, which is which is one thing we really had to work on this year. Not, you know, getting penalties, especially one in the red zone, then two, just work on you know, minim minimizing our penalties as much as possible. Um, so yeah, and then after that penalty was brought back, Jalen Hurts was uh, able to find Dallas Goddard for a completion and, and a touchdown. So Jalen Hurts went six for six. Um, in his first series last night. And then the defense came in, the first unit defense. I wasn't able to see them long because two or three plays into the first drive, Kazir White, um, he intercepted Zach Wilson across the middle. Um, so that was spectacular. Of course, I'm just obviously looking forward to the defensive side of the ball more than the offensive side of the ball. Um, again, just because of what we have there. And then I, I saw um, I was able to see second defense play against the, the Jets' first offense with Jordan Davis at the nose tackle and the Kobe Dean behind him. They looked great, you know, for their first real NFL action. Um, you know, it was some type of NFL speed. So, so again, they look great. I look forward to again seeing old Bulldogs flourishes, Eagles now. You know, they 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 left from the ground. Now they get to fly high in the sky with the birds. And uh, again, I'm just excited to continue to see their growth um, on the field, off the field, all those great things. Um, then um, the rookie highlights. Again, I'm gonna go with Cam Jurgens. He played a phenomenal job. He did, he did a phenomenal job last night, filling in the role of Jason Kelsey. Um, he's gonna continue to grow and you know flourish and continue to his, uh, build his IQ um, for the positions of the O line. Again, Jordan Davis was a uh, a monster in the middle, very disruptive, um, quick, explosive. Uh, again, um, our young linebacker, N'Kobe Dean as well, he had some good, um, like he said, he said this early in the year as well, though, um, you know, just playing at Georgia, Jordan Davis takes up a lot of the, um, a lot of the awareness of the offense. Like he's a big key um, for offensive line and stuff like that. Um, to to keep a to keep his eye on. So again, when he when he has to when he when he's penetrating those gaps and holes and stuff like that, um, it makes it easy for the linebackers to be able to um, dissect the play, things like that. Like I saw last night, you know, again how Nicole and Jordan, you know, did for so many years in Georgia. I was able to see that last night on the field. And again, I'm just so excited to be able to one first get in, in my time area that I can recall. To be able to get to to be able to draft two Georgia Bulldogs, you know that I highly favor so much, and um, again to, just to be able to see them on my team, to grow as professional football players as Eagles, 
Um, definitely truly a blessing to me, man. I'm definitely grateful for that. I love it. Um, again, just that special connection that I have even more with my team now because I get to see these two guys who I've, you know, cared for in their coll in their collegiate years to now where they are, you know, to be a part of the organization that I love so much. And uh, I know they love it as well. So again, that was just my uh, that was just my takes on our first preseason game last night. Um, again, very excited about the depth and what we have. Brandon Graham looked good last night. He was he was very disruptive, which I expect of him. You know, again, and, and, and again, the sky's the limit for our team, man. We have a lot of pieces and a lot of um, individuals who are extremely great players. And um, we're going to continue to get better every day, 1% better every day, and just strive, strive for greatness every day. So, again, um, this is my, my take on our preseason opener last night, Eagles versus Jets. Um, again, unfortunately we lost, but it's preseason, but we did have a lot of positive things that we put on the field and then we left on the field and then, um, that we can learn from film. And, uh, yeah, again, I'm just excited to see them grow even more f from this season and the years to come, you know, cause we're, we're definitely, you know, building something tremendously special there in, in Philadelphia and, uh, Eagles will be, you know, top teams for the next, again, you know, five, 10 years. So y'all yeah, be on the lookout. Forever, anyway, you know, it's go birds for life, five life, and um, yeah, y'all be easy, man. Enjoy your weekend. Y'all be safe out there. Stay hydrated. Um, yeah, y'all stay safe. Travel. Stay vigilant. Um, love, you know, love on your family members. Be be thankful for the day. Give give praise and, and glory to God and thanks and in gratefulness to Him for our days of our life. And uh, we just thank you, Lord. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate. It. Thank you all. I thank y'all for my support. Um, again, my podcast is steadily growing. I appreciate the love and support. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Just dropped my device. Um, but um, yeah, continue to follow me on my social media platforms at Twitter, Grateful underscore Gap. You can check me out on, on Instagram at Grateful Gap Podcast. And um, until next time, y'all, again, appreciate the love and support. As always, fly, Eagles, fly. And until next time, y'all, peace.